What have you done for Lazarus? What have you done for Lazarus? You see, in the parable, this rich man, he is being ridiculed for brushing the crumbs off the table for Lazarus. And we see many people who are in the same position as Lazarus is. We see people in need. We see people who are forgotten, who are cast aside, and too often we ignore them. When my heart is hard, break the stone away. When my heart is cold, warm it with the day. When my heart is lost, lead me on your way. Like the rich man, we worry about our lives and what we have to do instead of the lives of the people around us. We see the actions of the rich man. Every time he entered or left his home, he saw Lazarus at his doorstep. He even called Lazarus by name. The rich man understood the situation that Lazarus was in, yet he did nothing. Even in the afterlife, the rich man continues to treat Lazarus as a servant who should fetch him some water or be a messenger to his brothers. In both his life here on earth and in the afterlife, the rich man refuses to see Lazarus as a person, a human, a child of God. Yes, So when the question arises inside of me, what have you done for Lazarus? I have trouble because I know that there are many people who are in need. I know there are many causes to which I am called to participate in and sometimes I find it hard to decide what I should do, how I should support other people. It's hard to see sometimes beyond the immediate needs of my own life. But seeing is important because you can't have compassion for someone if you don't see them. You have to see beyond your own immediate needs to acknowledge the presence of others in your life. To see the gifts, the talents, and the offerings of everyone around you because we are all children of God worthy of respect and dignity. The rich man sees Lazarus. He sees him, but he doesn't see him. He acknowledges Lazarus, but he does not see the situation that Lazarus was in, which builds a separation between Lazarus and the rich man and eventually puts a barrier between them. But God calls us to break down the barriers, to encourage us not only to see those around us as God's beloved children, but to reach out and to attend the needs of this world. We have God's compassion with us today. We are the ones who gather each and every week to celebrate Jesus' victory over the grave and to receive the forgiveness of sin. We are told over and over again how much God loves us for who we are, not what we have done or failed to do in our life. Over the mountains and over time In the hands of God are holding us Lifting us higher Your love is all around we taste and see This sip of heaven is all we need to find And feel your love